Hey, what's up guys? Checking out this new layer manager application that came out by one of the members on the BitPsycho development community. It's not the official application. There is a newer version coming out pretty soon, but this one's pretty basic and simple and straightforward. And I will leave all of the links and the proper information in the description below to download this application. But just to show you real quickly how it works, it's going to allow you the ability to actually install the zip file completely. So you don't have to install each separate APK file or overlay file. You can actually just select a zip entirely and install it, but you can use APKs as well. But once you see this right here, you're going to select that choose zip option. You're going to navigate to where you downloaded your overlay files and select the actual zip file. Once you have that, all you have to do is hit install the chosen layer and it will just take a moment to process that information. You'll see your toast here and then you're done. All you have to do is hit reboot. This will technically do a hard reboot if you use the reboot process in the application, but you just need to do a soft reboot in order to apply it. So if you have a ROM that will in fact allow you to go to the soft reboot, advanced reboot options, just do that and you're good to go. Uh, you will notice that I do not have a theme or an overlay right now, so I will reboot and show you that, how it is applied. But I will also show you real quickly how to delete the layers. So you can actually go in here and see each layer that you have installed. So if you want to remove one, uh, just one in particular, you can come in here and do that. So if I want to remove, let's say my Gmail, you will now see up here, it will display the APK or overlay you are deleting. You will tick this to delete. It's basically a confirmation box and then you'll select delete chosen layer. This is your single target deleting basically. So you'll see the toast that will say delete successful and now that is no longer in my layers folder. So if I want to delete them one by one, that's how you do that. If you want to delete everything at once, just tick that confirmation box and hit delete all layers and it will take you back to the main screen and now they're all gone. Now you do have the option as well to navigate to the XDA thread through this application where all of the overlays that are currently available are updated. There's currently about 71 or so as of this video. So you can come in here and see which ones you want through this application, or excuse me, through this website, through the application. But I will also show you right now how to actually go through the full process. So I'm gonna go and select my zip file. I'm going to install it, allow it to process. It's going to confirm in the toast, and then I'm going to reboot. But instead of using that through the application, I'm just going to do a soft reboot and then I will show you guys after it reboots. So once you have soft rebooted, you will indeed have your layers applied. You'll see up here, everything is applied accordingly. I use the Synergy overlay, so everything is done. And it's really that simple, guys. It's, there's not much to it. Now, if you want to use the alternative method, you can go into your file explorer that you use and you will navigate through your system directory. You will find a directory called Vendor. In here, you can go to the overlay folder and this is where all the overlays are going to be placed. So you can actually manually copy and paste in this folder if you have write privileges, read write privileges in your system directory. So it's, it's really that simple. If you don't wanna use an application, there is an alternative way that you can go about doing that. Otherwise, you can just use this application or the official BitPsycho Layers Manager. Uh, there's two different ways, but this one's a little bit more easy until the next version comes out, I guess, which will be out pretty soon. But that's pretty much it guys, not much to it. You do have the option to do a dark mode as well. On the settings option here, you have a dark theme. You just have to hit save, and then you restart the actual application. And then you will have the dark theme. That's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope it helps. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you're on my YouTube channel and subscribe as well if you want to see more content coming in the later dates. And I will catch you guys, as always, in the next video. Peace.